Uh, everybody, what's the what's the one word that this problem is about? What's the one word this problem is about? Uh, you can make the argument for rectangles that you definitely see, uh, you know, attached to rectangles. But I would actually argue that the main word, the biggest one here, would be area, because that's the directive, that's the goal of the question. You know, we're talking about the what when we talk about rectangles. But when we're talking about the why, you know, what is it that we're doing here? What purpose? Finding the area. That's what we're trying to do. So let's highlight that for ourselves right here. So let's just read what it says. You know, we got this picture right over here and we're told the directions are using the given dimensions. Go ahead and calculate the total area in square units of the composite shaped uh, sh shape, excuse me, formed by two rectangles of different size. What are they trying to say here? All they're trying to say is that, hey, look, if I zoom on in on this, a composite figure, something that's composite, it's made up of more than one thing. And so this composite figure, we can see it as made up. Let me actually just do this with a perfect straight line because you guys know um, how good I can draw a straight line. Okay, perfect. And so let me go ahead and erase some of this partially to show you kind of what's going on there. You know, that's how we can kind of visualize this. Are you guys able to see that we have a rectangle here and a rectangle here? Are you guys able to see that if we split that up? Okay, so the goal of the problem, everybody, the goal is this. The goal is to find the area of this here, area of section one, and then find the area of section two. My ASVAB party people, hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible. And we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. If we find those areas, everybody, then our final answer is gonna be, hey, just go ahead and take area of section one. We're gonna add it with the area of section two. And that's our answer. And that's gonna be our answer. Um, does that make sense before I proceed? You know, all we're trying to do is find the total area. So we'll find the area of the first part, area of the second part, add them up, and we're set. Even if we have no idea how to do it, I hope that that still makes sense. You know, that's the goal at the very least. Cool. Now let's see what we got. Because I know how tempting it is for some of us to take a look at this and say, hey coach, uh, I see a 10 right there. I see a 12 there. 10 times 12, that's gonna be 120. I see that 120 right there for A. Is that it? No, no, oh, no, no, not gonna be it. Simple reason being, we are not looking at the entirety of a 10 by 12. That would look like this. If we're looking at a 10 by 12, that would look something like, I thought I was drawing a square for a second. So if I wanna go ahead and make this right, which you know how stubborn I am, we just draw it really wide, okay. And then we would just go ahead and push that there and push that here. So we're not finding the area of this whole thing. That's not what we're finding, everybody. We're not finding the area of the entire thing. 
we are finding one moment please got to take away the whole thing we are finding the area of this this part here and this part here we don't have the extra stuff here or extra stuff there so let's break it up here area of a rectangle everybody what formula is that what are we using what do we need what does it look like thank you remy i appreciate that what's the formula for the area of a rectangle it's going to be length times width mm, good so when we're taking a look here do we automatically know what one of the dimensions is for the first rectangle for the area of the first one do we know what one of them automatically is the six the ten the twelve which one is it that we know fits into it which one is it? the six the ten the twelve which one is it that we know will fit in so at first i'm going to argue that the answer is 10 because if you're looking at the area of the first one what you need, everybody, is the length right here and the width right there. Those are the two things you need. Which one do you already have? The 10 right there. That 10 covers the entire top. So my area is going to equal to 10 times whatever the other number is. What's that other number going to be? Well, here's where you're going to use clues. Because think of it like this the entire thing over here right next to me this entire thing right here that's 12. if you look at this part right here if you look across the way that's six everyone is it true that if this right here is six that this over here is going to be six that's true so if we want to find out what only this section is, only that, isn't it true that if we know that the whole thing is 12 and the other piece is 6, that what we're going to do is we're going to take that whole 12, take away that 6 to get what's left? Is that true? Yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. So we know the whole thing is 12. A piece of it here is 6. Take that away. Take it away. And what we're left with is 6 from here to here, and then the bottom, the rest of it will be six. So we have our length and our width, we're good. Everyone, what is 10 times six gonna be? Hit me with it. That's gonna be 60. And we have ourselves the first area. So we wanna work a little quickly here, you know, during the real test, but I wanna show you exactly where we're coming from. We got that first area, now we need to find the second area. Second area is not gonna be too hard at all because we already have that the base here is four. You can call that the length, you can call that the width, I don't care. But we have one of the dimensions being four. We just need the other dimension right there, the height or the base with the width, whatever you wanna call it, that's gonna be six. And so to get that area, my party people, four times six is gonna be what? And so whether this is your first or 50th YouTube video of mine, it doesn't matter. Why don't you join me for a live class that way you can ask questions, raise your score, and get the job you want for free. Again, I host classes once a week on Zoom, typically on Mondays. So go ahead and click the link up there, down here somewhere, register for free, and you get my free practice test that has video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. That's what it's all about here, my party people. I wanna help you succeed, so don't hesitate. Sign up for free, and then let's get back to this problem here. Let's keep raising our scores. 24, nice and easy. That's gonna be 24, nice and easy. We got what we need, excuse me there. We got what we need, bring that right back. 24, and that's gonna be the answer. 60 plus 24, everybody, is gonna be 84 square units. And there we have it. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.